all is well for the Welshman. 48 years of age now, still at the top of the game. As they sort of creep into the arena, they're trying not to put the other tables off. Great crowd in right from the off this morning, 10 o'clock, it was full. And uh, enjoying another of the all-time greats, Mark Williams, against this man, Tian Peng Fei, as I say, from China, 53 in the world. He's not had such a good season, actually. He struggled for a few wins, but he has qualified for the forthcoming international championship. He actually beat Stephen Hendry to do that. So, on this table, Neil Robertson and Judd Trump both won pretty comfortably. Let's see if Mark Williams can join them. Thank you. The first frame, Mark Williams to break. So, Judd Trump, of course, won back-to-back -back ranking titles recently, but the one before that was won by Mark Williams. They're both on 25 for their career. And... Uh, just a sign again of his longevity. But we saw in the interview, Joe, he, nothing ever seems to bother him, does it? Well, what a great interview it was. I hope everybody watched it because he's such a calm character. Very cool. And I believe everything that he says, that he doesn't let it affect him. He doesn't think about winning or losing. He just enjoys his game. And that's come across over the years. And he rightfully called one of the all-time greats. Great touch around the table. This young man as well, Dian Pen Fei. You know, good player, no doubt about that. Got to the semi-finals of a tournament just recently. Welsh Open. Very tough. Got to be on your game to beat players like Dian Pen Fei. Well, the Waterfront Hall certainly holds happy memories for Mark Williams. This was the, the start, really, of his great resurgence. Remember, he, 2017, he didn't qualify for the World Championship. He didn't go and attend the, the special celebrations for 40 years of the cruise. Blues very much down in the dumps, but things changed that summer. As he attempts that red, yeah, he, Lee Walker, his good friend, got him involved with the sight right alignment method. Mark followed that to the letter and came and won this tournament. It was his first ranking title in over six years and, of course, went on from that to win the World Championship at the end of that season. Yeah, as you say, what a resurgence. Dropped out of the top 16, can you believe? I think even out of the top 32 at one stage. But climbed his way back and got fought back to number one in the world. Speaks volumes for the man. Yeah, he's one of those players, Williams, and all the greats are the same, really. If a match is close, you always sort of fancy him to come through. But equally, he can dominate matches from the off as well. So it'll be interesting to see the, the early frames here, what sort of form he's in. Yeah, he's one of those type of players as well, Mark Williams, where he could have played safe down the table there. The red by the bark line was... Um, a possible danger and he's one of those type of players where he doesn't mind playing down this end of the table the black end of the table john higgins is very similar you'd think they want to keep the game open would be now good they are but he's quite happy to play down this end it's tian pen who's playing the safety off the red in the bork area trying to keep the game flowing but that in off and the red going towards the pocket that's a disaster for him. That, if you're trying to play that shot, and I'm, I was a billiard player, if you're trying to play that shot, I promise you that's such a difficult shot to play. And that's what he thought of it. Well, maybe this would be the appropriate time to congratulate Peter Gilchrist, who a few days ago won his uh, fifth World Billiards title, in fact, in uh, Landy, at Landywood Snooker Club, beat David Corsier in the final. No, he, he is a billiard player. <laughs> I used to play billiards, but nowhere near that kind of class. Look at this shot from Mark Williams. He could have rolled that in and bounced off the cushion, but preferred to screw for the black. Beautiful touch and possibly the best touch in the game 
when he's in around the black. Really like to watch him play and how he maneuvers the balls. He doesn't normally go into the pack early. He normally takes all the loose reds and then leaves it till either the last red or even the last two reds before he goes into the pack. But it's worked well for him. He's had over 600 century breaks, three maximums. Played with a touch of left-hand side there, just to help 16. the cue ball speed up a bit as it goes around the two cushions. Now, uh, here's a, a typical example. Will he play for the two reds or will he go into them? He's got the perfect angle to do either shot, play either shot. This is just about choice. Sometimes when you're just starting off in a match, you want to get your arm going, get your eye in, pot a few balls. So this will tell us how he's feeling. Yeah, just wants to pot a few balls, get his arm going. And that's what I was saying earlier, he normally 24. leaves it till the last red. <coughs> Builds the lead. Twenty-five. Got that same angle again. Now this time he may go into them. He's going further away from the reds this time. So now he's got to leave an angle to be able to disturb the reds. He's had two perfect angles to go into them. And this is what I was saying. He likes to leave it late and build a lead. And that's just about spot on. And again, a couple of ways of playing this shot. He could play the red, the loose red, and send it towards that right middle and just touch the reds open, playing that shot. Or he could go into them with pace. Again, it's just about choice, about how a player th is thinking. Preferred to play it at pace, and that's that worked out beautifully. Would have liked more reds open, obviously, but developed another three. Yeah, I think some players, particularly modern players, there's almost a bit of bravado. I've got to win it in one visit. I've got to make a you know an 80th century. Williams is old school, as you say. He's such a good safety player. If he hadn't got on a red there, he would have possibly played an effective safety. Got in again, made another 40. Either way, you win the frame. Forty-eight. Well, as I say, David, it hasn't done him any harm, has it? You know, he's made over 600 century breaks. Won 25 oh. tournaments. Well, not quite got the angle this time. Possible red to the bot corner or the middle. Oh, he's developed them beautifully. What about that for a shot? He's on a red to the left middle as well. He had to play that with stun run through. You saw the bend on the cue ball there. Going into the reds. Great shot. Oh, a little nod, so he may not be on this red as easy as what I first thought. No, he is, yeah. Yeah, he wants to stay on the black, doesn't he? Because they're all reds and blacks. We saw Judd Trump in that last frame of his match going for the 147.
broke down on 96. Frame's not won yet, though, is it? Exactly, and that's why he's playing for the blue. He was contemplating screwing back for the black, but the cue ball was slightly hitting the reds. And the frame, all important, isn't it? That unfortunate enough from Tianpin Fei. Looks like it's going to be very costly. Yeah, Mott Williams actually at the English Open last year, he made a 147, the oldest player to do so in competition. 63. <coughs> so one more red needed after this yellow or green. A great start, this, for Mark Williams. Showing he's got his eye in his touch. Played that with a touch of check. Left-hand side on the cue ball. To avoid the reds and stay on the black. Another great little shot, that. Yeah, I mean, we know he's a laid-back character, but that British Open victory must have been so satisfying to beat Mark Selby in a best of 19 final, particularly the way it ended, getting a snooker in the last frame. 74. Big first prize and all the spin-offs that come from it. He's just in a very, very good place coming into this event. As Joe said, he's had over 600 centuries early in his career. At this sort of stage, he didn't always sort of bother to make them. It was almost as if, let's get on with the next frame. That's changed a lot in recent times, but he certainly could have had, well, come to be a couple of hundred more if he'd have had this attitude then. As I say, he doesn't mind how he wins a frame, but winning it like this just sends a message to Tianpeng Fei that he needs to be on his game today. Just one in off has cost him this frame. So, perfect start if he can pop this black for a century in frame one. Yeah, how about that? For the first frame, he had maximum on his mind for a while, but most importantly, win the frame, keep your opponent cold, don't give them a chance. The high break, by the way, yeah, because the qualifiers were last week, and this is a held over match from round one. Zhou Yulong made a 1 4 4. Although he didn't qualify, Stan Moody beat him. Young Stan, a great win for him, because of course Show Yulong was runner up here last year. 113. 115. He hardly seems to win, does he? Just gets down, points his cue at the ball, and it goes. 118. Yes, there was one tournament where, as a trial, they put a heart monitor on him to see the difference in the pressure situation it would make. And it turned out it made no difference. His heart rate was the same as when the match began. 120. Well, what an interesting stat that was. I hadn't heard of that one. <coughs> I think he's probably the wrong person to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. 127. But you can tell. Just his walk around the table, you can tell he's a cool customer. He is, and also, maybe even more important than that, he's still a brilliant player, and he's shown it here in this first frame. Tianpeng Fei went in off, he left the chance. And Mark Williams has made the most of it. 140. A 140 total clearance from the former champion. Mark Williams off to a flyer here.
leading 1-0. <coughs> the Waterfront Hall in Belfast is the venue fine. for Champion the Northern Fair. Ireland Open leg two of the Home Nation series. It's worth saying, actually, as Tianpeng Fei gets this frame underway, Neil Robertson, who won earlier, if he wins this week, he'll be the first player to have won all four, which will be some achievement, because these best of sevens obviously tough to get through. He's only won one match so far, but he did mention it himself in his press conference, so he's aware of it. Well, that's the result of sitting out in the hole of the last frame. Cue ball not reaching the bark line. Left an easy starter for Mark Williams. One. Yeah, Q World's going to come out of Bork just. tell when a player's got used to the table he's the right side of the blue but just right at the right side of the blue uh, lots of left hand side on the cue ball but I don't think he's got enough on it can you see this red looks like he can he's addressing it yep Twelve. Oh, tough black and even tougher to hold for a red. Yeah, the Williams dynasty uh, looks like it might be extended because his young son, Joel, recently won a junior event. So he's clearly uh, got the bug for snooker as well. well he's already playing some terrific stuff in this match. 20. And now he's got no choice but to go into them. And you're right, David. Yeah, he hasn't missed a ball as far as I can see in live play. Nice angle, this. Oh, and he split them well. He split them well. The break off from Tian Pen Fei was a poor one. This time he is a little short on the blue, but with enough angle on it to be able to come in and out of balk back down for the reds, preferably down the left hand side of the table, being a left hander. There's the side on the cue ball, beautiful little shot that. Lots of left hand side on the cue ball. It makes it such a difficult pot that, playing it that way, but just played it as though it was easy. Meanwhile, Karen Wilson is out. He's been beaten 4-3 by Sam Craigie. They actually played here six years ago. Craigie beat him 4-1. So once again, he's come unstuck. But again, you know, that, that, that counts as an upset. But we know how good Craigie is. It's not a huge one, but disappointment for Wilson. He's looking to land a title this season. It won't be this one. Well, he played to come past the red, take it to the left corner, but it wasn't a bad kiss. Still on this red to the right corner, but not as easy as it, as it would have been. And yep, no problem. 
the other match that's on at the moment is uh, Ricky Walden is 2-1 up on Ben Wollaston on table three. Now that black, is it going to drop? Just. Yeah, I was going to say, Ben Wollaston, of course, his wife, Tatiana, is referee in this match. But she is ever professional, just focusing on this rather than what's happening with Ben next door. 50. <coughs> Oh, that black hasn't gone in, and he's annoyed. He is annoyed, because it, it was looking like two visits, two frames down for Tian Penfei. Now, can he get this cue ball out for the black? They could do with leaving an angle on this black to be able to disturb the reds. Yep, he can do it. Doesn't want to bounce too much. And that's a, a little, a little bit more would have been. Ideal, but I think he can still play the shot from there. This is the black knot marks just missed. Near angle. How many times on the near angle players miss that shot? Well, now, is he on one? That red bouncing off the cushion may have stopped that red going to the right middle. He's hit them well, and he was on that red to the right middle till that one bounced off and blocked the pocket. This is much more difficult. He's very well aware of how well Mark Williams is playing. He doesn't want to leave him an easy, easy chance. Yep, that's good. Nine. And that's also good. Could have been worse. It's not just that he knows how well Mark Williams is playing in this match. Previous meetings, it's 5-0 to Williams. So a couple of whitewashes in there as well. It's all been sort of one-way traffic when they played. But this is a, a chance to get back into this frame. Like I say, he beat O'Sullivan 5 0 at the Welsh last season. Now, Ronnie O'Sullivan did have tip trouble, it has to be said, but even so, you've got to take the chances when they come along. He did, he did so, didn't tense up as he went in front. Thank you. 15. And think about that tournament, he'd already beaten Jimmy White, Ali Carter, and John Higgins. So, you know, he was playing some seriously good stuff that week. But that would never looked in. Champion Faye, 15. Yes, I'm very fortunate. Look where the cue ball has landed. Missed that by a long way. And could so easily have left an easy red. But I think he's got away with it. May even have the snooker. No, not quite. Now, wait for this. Oof. Not far away. So, another chance for Tian Penfei. It's going to be close to the cushion, the cue ball, which is going to make the next colour very difficult. Blue looks to be the ideal, ide ideal ball just to bounce it off the cushion. Choice of two reds. Tough though. Six. Six. 
seven. So those two reds by the pink need some attention. Can't do it this time round. Although one of them does go to the ball corner. Well, I've got to try and leave an angle here on the blue. 14. Just to play a little cannon to those two reds. And that looks just about right. <coughs> and does the red go to the middle? Well, he's got the red to the left corner, if not. 20. <coughs> it always looked a little high. 20. Now, Mark Williams was talking in his interval that he, used, he likes to punish players when they've missed a ball. Well, Mark missed a ball off a black off the black spot. And he could have been punished there. Just 15 points in the game. And this looks a pretty good safety. Red going towards the pocket. Is it going to reach? Just. Yeah, Mark Williams knew that was in. He sat down again. It shows how quick the table is that that reached the pocket. Well, I didn't think it was hard enough, to be fair. But as you say, so quick, these tables. The black is on, but there's no way to get to the red without playing a deep screw to the pink. And you might play that in practice, but this isn't practice. Somewhere on the left side cushion would be good. That's what he's looking at, the snooker. But doesn't want to push the green safe. Was against playing the snooker, and I thought for the world he'd play it anywhere on the left side cushion, and he would have been snookered. Oh, what a brilliant pot. Terrific pot from Mark Williams there. Oh, what kind of an angle does he have on the green to hold for the yellow? What a tremendous pot. He's always been such a great long ball potter. Wasn't the best angle on the green. 
We may need the rest. with that little style that he has going under harm. I can just get to it. Six. Brown needed. Just checking. Yeah, he missed the black, didn't he, on 50 off the spot. Champeng Fei had some chances to get back into the frame. He's never quite in control, you felt, though. Got the fluke. It didn't, in the end, make any difference. So it looks like 2-0 to the Welshman. The difference, though, with frame one is that Champeng Fei did have a chance to win this one. Time's running out. This is only best of seven. So frame three is a big one for him. 24. Otherwise, it could be a sixth straight defeat to Mark Williams. <laughs> Mark Williams then on top here in Belfast this afternoon, already halfway to victory, leading 2-0 on Mark Williams. He's 2-0 up on Tian Peng Fei. This third frame, a big one, clearly, if Williams wins it, he's a heavy, heavy favourite to progress to the next round, where he would play another Williams, Robbie. No relation. Shots like that where it was kind of like a free go taking that red on because he couldn't leave any reds on. He'd have been on the black and the only red he could have left on is the one that he was attempting. And as it is, he's played the safety and it might be his last shot. You know, you may as well go for your shots and especially when he would have gone for that shot in practice. Long red to the right corner. And he can't believe what's happening at the moment, but you, you've got to be positive, Tian. I'm afraid this is the big league. I can understand him not taking the long red on if he was going to leave reds on at the side of the black, but he wasn't. He'd have left the cue ball short on the black. This is the long red I'm talking about. He's played safe. Now, it may cost him the frame, who knows? That's how well Mark Williams is playing. Now, he could go into them here with the advantage of that loose red. Or he could just tickle the black in. Not ideally on the next red, but 26. developed another couple there.
He knew he'd missed it. As soon as he struck it, he knew he'd missed it. Tim Penfair looking at this long red, and this is a lot more difficult than ready to refused. There is danger with this one. So we'll just look at this red again. That mark missed. Fully expected to get that one. Yeah, there was more danger with that shot. Is he going to get away with it? Difficult to tell from here. Problem is, I mean, he was hampered as well, which didn't help, but he's just under pressure now to make something happen. And it hasn't happened there. I think he has left this red. Well, he's looking at a plant, in fact. Yeah, if you can see that loose red, I'm sure I'll take that one first. Couldn't see it's a potted. A little, a little fortunate there, Tian. Yes, his highest break's only 20 so far. Now, obviously, frame one, he didn't get a look in, but he did have chances in that second. This is the thing with these short matches. They can get away from you very quickly. <coughs> now, I'm this red down the table, and he hasn't done it. Because if you send the red down the table, then you leave the easy safety on the other red. That's near the yellow pocket. Well, a little bit different this time. Great venue, this really is the waterfront, three tables, and of course, a great history of snooker in Northern Ireland. A lot of people here will remember the, the glory years of Alex Higgins and Dennis Taylor, and of course, Mark Allen, their own, has won this title the last two years. He'll be up this evening. Jimmy White also in action. You couldn't think of anyone better than Jimmy to be playing in a tournament for the Alex Higgins Trophy, of course, he's a great friend who this event is named in honour of. Yeah, wouldn't he love to do well in this tournament, Jimmy? Still playing exceptionally well. He's been tempted by this plant to the left corner a couple of times. The same token, he doesn't want to leave Tian Fei with a chance at it. Well, if he sends the red down the table, normal service. Back to the orthodox safety play now. Crowd appreciating that. They don't like to see that tippy tappy stuff. Players don't like to play, but sometimes you've just got no choice. Yeah, I think now with the strength and depth on the tour, you know, players, I mean, Tian Penfei's world number 53, but. They're capable of making breaks, winning frames in one visit, just as much as the top players, really. It's doing it on the big stage when the pressure's on. As I say, we had the qualifying last week in Sheffield. That's this round, apart from these held over matches. And uh, lots of big breaks flying in there. And that 
red has flown in there. Terrific pot again from Mark Williams. Wants the cue ball to hold up here. Just kept running, though. Yeah, <clears throat> unfortunate because it's such a good pot. Deserves to win a frame. But just the snooker cutting off the right side of the, the table, which is the easy one to land up into the reds from. Referee Tatiana Wilson just looking to see where the cue ball is exactly in case she has to replace it. Very good referee. Not much to aim at here. He's playing the red just below the pink. Oh, is he playing the one behind the black? Change of plan. No, oh, that's a good shot he's played. Not much to go out there. Little tap on the table there from Mike Williams. Just on the some of the breaks last week, Dominic Dale had a couple of centuries, he's qualified. Ken Doherty had a 135, he's qualified. So these uh, veterans are, are still proving what class acts they are. And also, as I say, the other end of the scale, Stan Moody, 17, had that picture of a show you long. Yeah, Ken Doherty made a 1435 break. It's 3 2 down. So we're saying. Still got it. Such an important frame, this, and I think this little passage of play is reflective of that. There is a phone going off somewhere, <laughs> which uh, needs to be turned off. Oh, look at this, he's taking on. Very aggressive shot, that, from Mark Williams. So, chance here for Tian Penfei. It was always top angle, wasn't it? Chance to win, though. Can he make something? You feel he needs to now to get back into this match. As I say, his highest break only 20 so far. Been handed an opportunity here. Well, he's got a chance, and he should go into them here with the advantage of that red over the pocket. And that's opened up another two or three. Nine. Unless there's a plant there in that little cluster of five, he's going to have to go into them again. As I say, he's not had the best of seasons. And one of the issues is, of course, a lot of the, the first rounds of tournaments, if you're ranked where he is, you have to go to qualifiers where there's very little atmosphere and often no audience at all. So it's not always sort of the great motivating venue to go Sounds. to. But you've got to get through those matches, of course, to get to the, the main venue. Here it's been held over because Williams is in the top 16. Already here, he's just sort of left himself a, a more difficult black than he wanted when he's already under a bit of pressure. Yeah, and he's got to make a decision whether to try and touch the reds. Doesn't have to hit them hard, just give them a little touch, but he'd have to play it with a bit of right-hand side to do that. Otherwise, he has to play for the loose red. The pot, all important, and he's overdone it. 70. And left an easy starter for Mark Williams. Yeah, the position in the match, 2-0 down against someone playing well, you didn't really want to be left a shot like this. He's missed it. He's left a red to middle. Could be danger ahead. 
and he's Seven overdone it. 70. And left an easy starter for Mark Williams. Yeah, the position in the match, 2-0 down against someone playing well, you didn't really want to be left a shot like this. He's missed it, he's left a red to middle. Could be danger ahead. One. But again, that first frame, you know, the 140, that was such a statement. And right from the off, that's... Not in the slightest. Now it's a little bit more difficult for Tian Penfei. Didn't want to leave a chance of the safety by that red, by the balk line. But as far as clever tacticians go, I don't think there's many better than Mark Williams. So he didn't want to play that. Now he's left an easy safety by that red by the balk line on a possible pot to the middle. Could have been a lot worse, you know. It was a tough red to take on. Could so easily have left it on. <coughs> Very aggressive, Mark Williams. The last two shots is attempted. Another chance. You wouldn't say it's an easy one, but possible chance to the middle. One. Yeah, more concern for Champeng Fei. See him surviving this. He's going to have to miss an easy one here, Mark Williams. He's not going to win this frame at this visit. Four. He'll keep that cue ball under tight control here. 22 point lead. So another red and a black, and it should be 3 0. 18. Yes, yeah, so and the truth 19. is, whatever mistakes Williams has made have gone unpunished. That's why he's been getting these additional chances. Lead as you see, 43 available. 26. And that red should make sure. So it's a long way back from here when you're struggling to put anything together, and Tian still. 
yet to make any significant breaks in the match against a proven winner as well. It's not like Williams is going to start to nil. He did actually play Alex Higgins, Mark, in uh, his first ever season, 92, the Dubai Classic qualifying. He beat him 5-2. It's a bit of a crossover. The new generation coming through and that great previous generation on the way out. But who would have thought, here we are 31 years on, and he, he's still... Well, he is in the top ten in the world. Playing great stuff, and you could you could arguably say it playing as well as ever. Great to watch. Great to see his little tactical side of his game. Fifty-three. Great little touch shots all over the place. Might see a little exhibition shot here to try and get to the black. Games one. Beautiful. Mark Williams, yeah, again, the chance was offered up and the chance was taken. Mark Williams sauntering his way through to round two, so it seems. He leads 3-0. The Northern Ireland Open in Belfast, Tian Peng Fei, he's up against it and then some. He's 3-0 down, Mark Williams has had breaks of 140, 50, 59, and the mistakes that he, Williams, has made have gone unpunished. Can Tian at least put together a good frame here, maybe get a bit of confidence up? Well, that's a, a better break-off. And his previous one. Pot success there, ninety-two percent for Williams. Yeah, not good for Tian Penfei at seventy-four. David's already mentioned that Tian's only had a twenty break. And there's the difference. Look, he took that long red on. I know he's three one three nil up, but he'd have took that on at three nil down. Took that long red on because he couldn't leave anything except the red he was playing. Had it gone in, he was on the black. And, you know, Tian Penfei refused that in the second frame. Well, that's yeah. another result. Ricky Walden has beaten Ben Wollaston 4-2, so Ricky now plays Dominic Dale. He's just finished on table three, so the next match there is a local boy, Robbie McGuigan, one of the local wild cards against Pakistan's Mohammed Asif. <coughs> well, he could play down the table for the safety. Jaws of the green pocket would make a difficult safety shot. Table two, Rebecca Ken has won the opening frame against Jack Lazowski. She's uh, struggled a bit on tour last year and a bit, but obviously a uh, big opportunity there today against one of the best in the business. You can watch all the tables, of course, on Discovery+. Plus. There's Rebecca. Got to the uh, mixed doubles final last season with Mark Selby.
<laughs> Look at that. He's looking at the possible three ball plant there. have thought it was on but in actual fact it didn't get anywhere near now what a chance this is for Tianpen Fei yeah he wasn't exactly in the best spot to attack it was he but as you say it's a chance and you feel it's sort of now or never really if he's going to make anything happen it has to be here Sometimes when you play the aggressive shot, and it happened in the last frame, where Mark Williams played aggressively, didn't really leave anything, and yet benefited from missing, if you like. Well, you never know. Could happen again here. Reds are nicely spread, so he's under a lot of pressure here, Tian Penfei, and that's not the best positional shot. This black is missable. Gonna have to play it at pace to be able to play for those two reds to the right middle. Good pot. He played it so well, too well in fact. I don't think he played for these reds to the right corner. 16. It's gonna be difficult to get to a colour from these reds. I'm pretty sure he played for the reds to the middle. Overhit it, misjudging the speed of the table, which you can forgive him for, he hasn't been the table that much. No, it's all been sort of stop-start, hasn't it, from him? And that's a good recovery. 17. Nicely played. As I said earlier, he's got the trip to the International Championship to look forward to in a couple of weeks. He beat Stephen Hendry in the qualifying there, 6-3. But other than that, the uh, early rounds of tournaments have cost him this season. Oh, just missed the brown to bring that cue ball back down the table. Finish nicely on this red to the middle. Twenty-four. He's one of those players from the sort of middle of the pack, as it were, the mid rankings. You could definitely see causing players problems. He did in that Welsh Open, and he's beaten. Them. Various top players over the years. He got to a final of one of the old European Tour events back in 2015, the Ruhr Open. He's just trying to do it consistently. Not just have one good week, but have several. Doesn't help when this is your first round draw <laughs> against not only an all-time great, but an all-time great who's won a tournament recently. Just came round to have a look at this red above the black spot. That will go to the right corner. 39. And that could release a red to the left corner. <coughs> he takes it. Oh, 
47. He's played that one well. That was absolutely spot on, that positional shot. 55. And that releases the two reds next to it into the right corner. Been a good break so far, this for Tian Penfei. And having a red safe eases the pressure a little. It's amazing how often a player who 63. seems to be dead and buried in a match suddenly opens the shoulders and starts to play. And of course, that makes them dangerous. Well, the pink obviously goes to the right middle. It doesn't look like it from here, but obviously it does. Yeah, it's more like it, isn't it, from Tian Penfei. Needs one more red here, and it should be 3-1. But it's not just winning the frame, it's how he's done it that just sends a little message. This is not done yet, this Seven. match. Just about held up. Seventy-eight. Uh, maybe not. Oh, great shots. Great shot from Tian Penfei. Yeah, and an important one, really, because Williams could have played on there, especially if that red was over the pocket. He could have mopped up a few reds and blacks, and suddenly we're down to the last red, and, you know, the free ball comes into it all, and all sorts. But anyway, the red went in. 83. So it's definitely Tian's frame. And after all his problems so far, up to this frame, he has now a chance to make a century. Still in trouble in the match, but winning the frame like this is clearly going to give him confidence. And just also, as I say, sends a little message to Mark that he's still got to get to four. Well, it was a very ambitious plant that Mark went for, didn't it? Right at the beginning of this frame. It's a shame, it doesn't make the century, but 91 was an excellent break considering his highest up to that point had been just 20. Tian Peng Fei on the score, trailing here in Belfast by three frames to one. So Mark Williams to get frame five of a possible seven underway. Having just seen Tian Peng Fei come to the party with that 91. Neil Robertson, by the way, who won earlier, he'll play Jordan Brown tomorrow. That'll be an interesting one, because, of course, Jordan on home turf here in Northern Ireland. Get plenty of support, I'm sure.
Well, he wasn't tempted the last time round, but that cue ball isn't close enough to the cushion. I'm sure he'll take this one on to the left corner. Danger with it, though. Great pot. Great pot. Lost the cue ball a little, but that was to try and hide the red to the right middle. So, he's in with a chance. And that was a nice kiss on the red. Eight. Well, it's funny enough, because I was talking to Mark at the start of the season at the Championship League about his eyes. He said that he feels they're... I mean, he wears glasses, actually, when he's not playing and feels they're sort of... They've deteriorated a bit. But, I mean, that red he knocked in. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, would you? No, he still plays a mean game. 16. Yeah, Stuart Bingham, actually, who uh, had to go through the qualifiers last week, he's now playing in, in glasses as well. Mark uh, doesn't wear them during matches, as we can see. But it is a challenge, certainly when you get older, if you need to adjust to that. I mean, Judd Trump, actually, a few years ago, had his eyes lasered, didn't he? Yeah, it's a while ago, that now. <laughs> I've had mine done three times, actually, <laughs> lasered, and uh, they only last about six, seven years. And then you've either got to have it done again or move on to contacts. It's not fun. But as you say, you know, he, when he gets in amongst the balls, Williams, he, he's as good as ever. And his long game, as he's just proved with that opening red, is still good, still up there. Yeah, and I think also he said after COVID that he made a decision he was just going to carry on playing basically as long as he wanted to. And that means he's not that worried about rankings and results. Obviously, winning tournaments is great, which he's done this season. There's the red going in, by the way. Brilliant. But he just wants to play snooker, and that's what he's doing. And he's always had this aura at the table of sort of like he doesn't care. But make no mistake, when he's playing... He's very, very competitive. In the time the match is on, he wants to win as much as anybody. Just didn't get into the reds full enough. There was a little bit of a bend on the cue ball, and it didn't bend early enough. Just look at this. Look at the cue ball. See how it bended round the reds? It's a good one, and that's a good one. Great pot again. Great long ball potter. Always has been. Great to see. He can sense victory. And that poor safety. I said the cue ball wasn't close enough to the cushion from Tian Penfei. And this is the result of that poor safety cannot afford to leave top players with the hand on the table. Just weighing the score up now, Mark Williams. How many he needs. We need to go into them again. Nice little cannon to stay on this red. And these two loose reds will be enough. No need to go into them here, which he would do. Well, could do, but all he needs is the loose red. Just overdone it, and he was angry. You could see he was angry. Banged his tip. Match ball. And he's missed it. Mark Williams, yeah, he's angry, all right. That's not a smile, by the way. <coughs> yeah, 70 in front, still a possible 75 on. Well, 
would be a good clearance. One. Cue ball needs to slow down, otherwise he's not going to be on anything. Well, he's on the yellow to the middle, but that's not what he played. Just having a look at the score. Well, if he pots the yellow, it'll be 67 behind with 67 on. Not ideal, but better than needing a snooker. Yeah, had to go that brown, and it didn't, and he left the red on, and he's going to concede. Mark Williams started the match really well. He made that 140 total clearance in the first frame. He punished Tian Peng Fei's mistakes until frame four when Tian made the good 91. But when the chance came, Mark Williams made 70 and didn't have to play another shot. Tian Peng Fei conceded after missing the brown. So Williams the winner, 4-1.